Are you okay? Do you want to stop? No. I need to go back. Right now. Uh oh. Oh dear. Sean? Of course. How could I have forgotten? You want to share with the rest of us? Rodrigo Borgia is elected Pope in 1492. Which means Ezio's greatest enemy is now also the most powerful man in Italy. Always wanted to visit the Vatican. Well, your luck's in, Desmond. Happy days. Because that's exactly where you're going. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. What is it, Leonardo? What does he do? I could no more explain this than explain to you why the Earth goes around the Sun. You mean the Sun around the Earth? It's fabricated with materials that shouldn't exist. And yet, this is clearly a very ancient artifact. The Codex refers to it as a piece of Eden. The Spaniard. He called it the apple. Like Eve's apple, of forbidden knowledge. Are you then suggesting that this thing... This must never fall into the wrong hands. It would drive weaker minds insane. No doubt the Spaniard will be relentless in his desire to gain it back. Ezio, you must protect this with all the skills we have taught you. Take it to Forli, the citadel is walled, protected by cannons, and our ally controls it. Who is this ally? Her name is Katarina Sforza. You don't say. I think I may enjoy this mission. Thank you for everything, my oldest friend. Leonardo, Ezio tells me you travel off into Milano. I have a grand villa in Toscana. You must come visit me there. Well, well. Look who it is. Madonna. I thought when we met you were a bit special, but... An assassin, hmm. Walk with me, Karen. You're going to love Forley. The cannons in our Cittadella alone go back a hundred years. The artifact will be quite safe there. Forgive me, but I've never heard of a woman ruling her own city before. It's very impressive. Well, it was my husband before, of course. He died. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. I had him killed. Oh. <clears throat> we discovered Girolamo Riario was working for the Templars, making a map of the locations of the remaining Codex pages. I never liked the goddamn son of a bitch anyway. He was a lousy father, boring in bed, and a pain in my ass. Look. Oh, no. Aspetta! What's happening? They came as soon as you left the city walls, Signora. The city is under attack. What? By who? The Orsi brothers, Signora. Oh, sangue di Giuda. Who are the Orsi? The same canali I hired to kill my husband. It's the Spaniard, of course. The Orsi have no world view bigger than their purse. But how could he know where we were taking the apple? Before we even knew. Because they're not here for the apple, Ezio. They're after Riario's map. Basta with your map, Nicolo. My children are inside. Oh, porco demonio.
Already inside? Double crossing bastards. Is there another way into this place? Aspetta. Perhaps yes. There's an old tunnel under the western wall from the canal. Bene. I'll be right back. Hey! You! Yeah, I'm talking to you! You spineless dogs! You occupy my city, my home! You think I'm going to stand here and do nothing about it? How about I come up there and rip your body off? Oh, that's it. 
Come forth. What happened here? Who did this? No, not here. I want answers. Not at these Contadini. Get him! than these, I mean. Where are Bianca and Ottaviano? Forgive me, signora. They were playing outside when the attack began. I don't know where they are. Reinforcements from the mountains! They are breaching the citadel! Ezio, don't let those bastardi get in here! With me!
something! Stop him! Caterina! Caterina Sforza! I know you're in there. I have something you may want back. Are you missing any children? And Ezio Auditore. What a pleasant surprise. I take it you would be the Orsi brothers. Ludovico. And Kerko. At your service. Basta! Where are my children? Let them go! Of course, signora. We'll happily give them back for something of yours. A certain map. And a certain apple, brother. See, a certain apple indeed. Or shall I slice your baby's necks ear to ear? Bastardi! You think you can threaten me? I'll give you nothing! You want my children? Take them! I have the instrument to make more! When you change your mind, they'll be in the village, outside the city. You have one hour. <sighs> Katerina, no. I can't ask you to sacrifice your children. Nobody's sacrificing anything. Go get them back for me, Ezio. See, si. you have my word. The apple needs to remain in the citadel. Keep this safe. Women are no wilting flowers. They may look pretty to the eye, but the eyes deceive. Just ask Babo. You think you can escape? I hope you don't really Which imagine Which way did you go? You'd be very mistaken. Uh, my mama would never let you hurt me. And if you touch one hair on my little brother's head, she will hunt you down and eat you for breakfast. Capit? Grazie, grazie, Messere. But my brother, they're holding Ottaviano at the lighthouse.
your boy walk again, Katarina? Give us Don't what we want. Or I'll kill you off the edge. Mama, help me! I don't want to be here anymore! Sit down, Marmokio! <laughs> I know you. What? No, baby. Let's go, Katarina. Show yourself! The apple and the map, or your kids are crippled! a fool to send you. Or are you the fool, dying for a handful of change? Was it worth it? More than you know, the maestro gains his price because of me. Muori col tuo orgoglio, per quanto vale. Reguiescat in pace. Signore! What are you doing out here? I'm so sorry, Ezio. I'm so sorry. What happened? It was a trick to lower our defenses. As soon as you left, they attacked again. Kedko Orsi, he has the apple. What? No! Where is he? We chased him out here. But the bastards escaped into the mountains. I'm going. Enough of you left to bury. Yes. Nice Just, we'll catch him. Don't worry. Get him down. Order. Throw pledges if you don't get down. Throw them. I would hate to see Yes. He will not get away. Yes. Come and try it. <laughs> Goes down as fast as the local horn. Not getting at least you get him. There he is. So you have your prize again. Was it worth it? So much bloodshed. <coughs> A prize of such value. It will not remain yours for long. We shall see. Che miseria nascono dalla vita. Requiescat in pace. Don't. Who 
あるよ Stop Don't open it Katarina, I have to go, right away. Of course. Then you will need this as well. The map Nicolo spoke of. Your husband's... Ex-husband, mio caro. He swore he'd uncover the locations of all the Codex pages. You will recover the apple, but you will never find the vault without this. You know, there is an abbey in the wetlands near here, where I've seen monks wearing black robes. I'd start there. Now go. Find us a stramaladetto monk. I think I'm going to miss you, Katarina. Oh, I know you will. Blessings on you, brother. Grazie. I wonder if you can help me. What do you see? A monk in black robes who lacks one of his ten fingers. Well, Brother Guido has only nine toes. You sure it wasn't a toe? Quite sure. And then there's Brother Domenico, but it's his entire left arm he's lacking. Again, quite sure it was a finger. Hmm. Now wait a moment. I do recall a black robed monk with nine fingers. Yes, of course. When we had our last San Vincenzo's feast at the Abbey. Yes, I know the place. I'll try there. Grazie. Go in peace, brother. I always do. Excuse me, brother. I wonder if you can... Uh, uh, unholy demon! Get away! What's wrong? You're the one who killed Brother Stefano! Brothers, the killer of monks has returned! To die. I only kill those who kill others, and your brother Stefano was a killer. I'm sure you are no such thing. 
Now, listen to me. I'm looking for a black-robed monk who's missing a finger. Missing a finger, you say? Do you mean, like, Fra Savonarola? Savonarola? Who is this? You know him? I did. He was one of us, for a time. And then? We suggested he retire to a hermitage for a good long time. I'm afraid to say his retreat has come to an end. Where would he have gone? Oh dear. Santo Spirito? In Firenze? It's where he studied. Perhaps it's where he would return. I thank you. Go with God, brother.